thanks for joining me for, for today's vlog. I'm going to answer a question that was sent to me by Mitch asking, what is the right way to find a friend or girlfriend? And I think that's a brave and important question to ask. And I'm so thankful that Mitch reached out. I've had a lot of experience with this and I will even share some of Doug's wisdom on this. So what is the right way to find a friend or girlfriend or boyfriend? Well, in terms of location, I think it's important to know that you can meet a friend or a girlfriend slash boyfriend in any place. I encourage you to think outside of the box and keep your eyes open to possibilities. I always thought I would meet my future husband at my church or at one of my speaking engagements. And I was really close-minded to the opportunity of online dating because of the small town I lived in and didn't want to seem desperate, which is a stereotype that I thought about people who did online dating. When I now look at how small-minded I was, I realized it would be very unlikely for me to meet people where I was looking. Online dating was a great way for me to be real about who I was and to find many options. And so I really recommend this. And I recommend this for finding both friendships and girlfriends or boyfriends. It does not have to be just for dating. Now, if you're younger, a great place to find a friend or girlfriend slash boyfriend is at school. And I would say typical school, not necessarily COVID-19 school, but we should be able to get back to regular schedules hopefully soon. Otherwise, I want you to think of other places that you go, like the library, youth group, the local pool, coffee shop. The locations are endless, but just again, think outside of the box and keep your eyes open to where you may not be thinking or looking right now. But what I really want you to know, no matter where you meet this person, I want to encourage you to be confident. And I want you to know that you have great worth, that you deserve to have good friends, and that they would be lucky to have you as a friend. Sometimes we sell ourselves short. We have a low self-esteem from maybe being hurt before, we put up walls to try to keep people out so that we don't get hurt. We have to tear those walls down, step out of our comfort zone, and we have to take a risk of rejection. And as scary as all of that may seem, it's worth it. I have been rejected before, actually many times. It's just a part of life, but it's crucial to have friendships. So it's important to step out of your comfort zone. And I know this firsthand. In college, I really did not have a lot of friends. I honestly thought that people would come to my dorm room and knock on my door and ask me to be friends with them. It did not happen. My freshman year was pretty lonely as I was searching for friends. Then I got the brainiac idea to get involved. Imagine that. I started going to weekly events. I started meeting amazing people. I had to get out and open myself up to meet friends. But when I did, I had an amazing group of wonderful friends that I'm still friends with today. It's also important to be yourself. Don't try to be someone else or try to impress people by making up things that aren't true. Be you. If they reject you for being yourself, then they weren't worth your time or energy. You don't want them. And it's their loss, not yours. There are so many people who are afraid to be themselves today. But when you are true to who you are, and you then can find genuine friends. Deception never ends well. Lastly, as I mentioned earlier, I also want to encourage you to be confident. I really want to drive this deeper because it's really, really important. It's difficult to meet friends when you're shy and afraid. And this is why I hid in my dorm room. I was afraid. But when I began going out, I smiled. I initiated new conversations with people who were standing around. And even though I didn't necessarily feel confident on the inside, I presented myself with confidence 
so that when I started a new conversation with someone, it tended to flourish. So then I began being invited to things and my friendships grew. I was even asked out on a couple of dates. So it's really important to be confident. And I, I know it's hard to imagine. This is pretty crazy. But in high school, Doug was actually shy. And he was afraid to ask out girls. He actually went to his guidance counselor to ask him what he should do to ask out girls. I think that is so adorable. But his guidance counselor gave him the same advice. Be confident. And when I met Doug, he was very confident. And I would have never thought that he would have been shy or afraid. He worked through it. And through practice and experience, he gained confidence. Now, just a small disclaimer here. If you want to meet new people, it's important to have good hygiene. Brush your teeth. Take a shower. Wear deodorant. Use breath mints. And it may seem silly for me to mention these things, but I cannot tell you enough how many times these things have been an issue. Present the best you that you are. Overall, with all this information, I just really want you to know that you, again, have great worth. And anyone that chooses to be your friend or girlfriend slash boyfriend is a lucky person. You have so much to offer this world. And when you step out of your comfort zone, it does offer some risk, but it's completely worth it. You deserve love. And so don't settle for less than what you deserve and choose friendships and relationships that bring you joy and peace. Remove yourself from relationships that are toxic and know that there are people that will love you for who you are. I just have to say it again because I know there's someone out there that needs to hear this. You have great worth. Believe that you deserve good friends and healthy relationships. Thanks for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel comment on this video below and also be sure to follow me on all my social media media channels instagram facebook snapchat and tiktok see you next time